Hey guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Weekly. Whoa! So, here we are, episode number... Ah, <laughs> oh, the delicious intros just keep getting more delicious, Neve. That was possibly the most delicious intro we've Definitely seen longer. thus far. Definitely longest, mate. Well, because I've finished dieting now, man. I've got all this energy that I can use to uh, increase lung capacity and do awesome screams to Massive Joe's Weekly work. Definitely longer than your general sexual escapade. <laughs> Massive Joe's <laughs> Weekly Word, episode 23. That white board sure does come in handy. Andrew McLeod, we shooting this one. Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Neve Mills. I was number four, mate. I was number 35 or 13, depending on which team I played for. I was number four. Anyway, shooting this episode of Massive Joe's Weekly Word, late as f- Sad. We've been busy, man. What's the time? Trying to get this store open. Massive you. Joe's Gawler See? Green. 6.20 p.m. Which With happens... Evan Centipani by um, Charles Lothian. Did you know? I actually thought that was John Cena just then. No. Evan Centipani and John Cena and yourself look very much alike. <laughs> Put it out there. Anyway, topics of discussion for this episode number 23 of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Neve. Uh, we've got new products. New products. Product back in stock. Yeah, buddy. Uh, when is MTS coming? Yes. Uh, IMBA results from the previous weekend when both you and Jerome Rome competed? Yes. Uh, Gawler Green opening? Yes. Ask me. If yes. So, topic one, new products, man. We got Ice Story BioGro in the large tub. We're calling it the Big Daddy BioGro. What? The BioGro Big Daddy. So 120 serves. 120 serves, man. It's twice the amount of serves as the original BioGro, the small BioGro. Ridiculous price, Neve. 109.95. Small BioGro, 69.95 each. Based on that math, this should be just a little bit cheaper than twice that. 140. Should be like around 130. Yeah. Massive Joe's gone and smashed the price, 109.95. 110. And for all the US viewers at home who think that's expensive as f That's just the way it is in Australia, man. Everything's expensive. Don't comment. Please don't comment on the price. How man. much you pay for lunch today? Just put it in perspective for the US viewers. Because them, make, them make, make, probably spent lunches. like five bucks on lunch, man. But I bought a 600 mil Coke Zero. Yeah, how much that cost? $3.80. You? $3, that's Australian dollars, man. In America, I was paying a dollar eighty. I bought lunch today because I'm not dieting anymore, just yeah. in case you missed it at you had the a year off, You had a year off hot pack, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It, lunch cost me $17. <laughs> I want to go back to dieting <laughs> just because it's cheaper. A meal Next co- topic of like, discussion. Um, if I go to Subway for a cheap meal, it will cost me $20. In America, it cost us $7.50. Remember that near yeah. LA Airport? Yeah. We just touched down in LA Airport? Yeah. <laughs> You want to sing the song as well? Bit of Miley Cyrus. So for US viewers at home, man, everything in Australia is more expensive, including the supplements, man. Yeah. Topic two of discussion, Neve. Uh, Defcon is now back in stock. Yeah. Just dropped today, man. Pineapple and watermelon back in stock with them sexy as f- new labels. So uh, by, the time you watch, so you, by the time you watch the this. The only supplement labels I personally want to lick. Available at both uh, HQ and DC. And on Saturday will be available at Gawler Green. Oh, Gawler Green. In the oh, good. And online. Isn't it? Who owns Next Gawler? topic of Who this owns Gawler Green? Uh, it's not you, <laughs> and it's not me. Oh shit! It's got to be the silent investor. <laughs> don't say that. You get it. Anyway, <laughs> next topic of discussion, Neve. Uh, MTS. MTS. When's MTS back in stock? All right. So this is the deal with MTS, man. At well, I've the been moment, getting, I've been getting two, at least two to five emails. Yeah, I get hit up on me. Instagram. I put a photo on Instagram of like Neve's quad. Neck minute, What's Massive it? Joe, when's MTS back in stock? You've never put up a picture of my quad. Well, I might, I, the, but I'm just using it as an example. I've wanted to on many occasions, but I thought if I do that on Instagram, mate, I may have to delete the app, you know what I'm saying? What? You've got no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't really know either. Anyway, this is the deal with MTS, man. Clash, at the moment, the reformulated version of Clash, the pink lemonade is in stock right now. You can come, come get that. MTS Greens was in stock. We sold out of our first shipment in seven days. It was crazy. Ridiculous. So that's now sold out. That is actually sitting in customs right now. That should be released tomorrow, most likely Monday. 
Everything else, which includes MTS Way chocolate, MTS Way vanilla, the new MTS Way cookies and cream, the new MTS macro lution meal replacement, the MTS machine fuel, the 30 serves in a watermelon and a grape, and the new big ass 95 serves in the watermelon and the grape. Sitting in the port of Adelaide right now, we're just getting through some it's red port tape. Port of Adelaide is actually called Port Adelaide. It's called Port Adelaide on the, on the ship. We're actually just uh, finishing off some red tape bureaucratic paperwork bullshit to get the stuff cleared. But that should be here if everything goes to plan and uh, Neve makes some payments to some government officials. <laughs> I have to hit up my, uh, my, Your contacts my contact list. Should be next week, possibly the week after, but it's close, man. So save your pennies because MTS is coming, man. Yep. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Uh, how did you and Jerome go on the weekend? Well, you tell the viewers, man. You were there, you saw the shit. So, Joe <laughs> competed. In men's intermediate bodybuilding. Yeah, buddy. First place. Yeah, buddy. Out of 10? Yeah, I think there's a, it was about 10. I don't yeah. know. So in intermediate bodybuilding, Joey came and uh, posed down with our uh, good mate, Benny Wortley. Yes, for the overall. For the overall. Benny yeah. was looking redonkulous. As always. Um, Jerome Rome came second in men's fitness. As his, de his stage debut. Never been on stage in a bodybuilding or fitness show before, man. He came second. Bust on into that bitch, bust out of second place in the state. Pro probably me being a little bit of bias, but I believe he had that first place. It was pretty close, man. It was really close. But still, for a stage debut, second place. He looked Round of applause <laughs> for my man, Jerome. Yeah, he did look phenomenal. Yeah, he looked really good, man. In fact, I think Dillip's probably got some footage. And I think possibly he, yeah. yeah. Oh, let's put some pictures up, Dill. Put something in. Put some pictures up of Jerome and myself or some footage or whatever the hell you got, man. Show the viewers at home the, 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 because we've been getting hit up for pictures and footage and we will have full footage of the entire show and we may cut some videos and shit out of it just so you guys can check it all out. But just in the meantime, Dillip has just, what has he done? He's worked his magic. He's worked his magic a little bit. He's wet your lips with a little bit of intro footage or pictures or I don't even know what on screen. But anyway, he's done it. Next topic of discussion, Nate. Uh, Gall of Green opening tomorrow. No, Sunday. <laughs> no, it'll be tomorrow by the time you watch this. <laughs> it'll be, no, I don't even know when this guy. Saturday, May 10, whenever that is. Tomorrow, the day after or the day before. Whenever this video goes up, man. Saturday, May 10, 10 till 4, gonna be ridiculous. We've we actually been putting the show bags together today. Because oh, if you have, come you and, and you're one oh, of you, even you were, you were no, I was, I was back there doing, man. If you're one of I the wasn't. first 200 people in the store to spend 50 bucks, you get yourself one of these show bags. And I was like, yeah, cool. We'll pull some things in these show bags, and they're going to be pretty decent. The show bags, Neve, are epic. They are epic. There's like 20 things in these show bags. I didn't even realize we had that much stuff to make show bags with. For the viewers, I might even spend 50 bucks at my own store to get one of these show bags. That's how good they are. Do you know Joey's nickname is actually show bags because he's that full of shit? <laughs> these are not full of shit, mate. <laughs> these are full of gains, mate. And they're awesome. So anyway, get there if you're in Adelaide. If you're not in Adelaide and you haven't booked your flights, probably too late. Joe Pitt, Jake Nicolopoulos, Asher Coulthard, Fabian, Team Fabian's sister. Team Massive Joe's in the house. And then after, well that's it, so if you spend 50 bucks, you get the free show bag. If you spend 150, you get a free show bag, plus a free Team Massive Joe's training shirt. If we got enough dog. If, well, it's the first 200 people. Oh, yeah. After that, you spend whatever the f you want, you ain't getting shit. Well, you, can get a blender, you get a blender bottle if you sign up for loyalty program. That's yeah? true, but be one of the first 200, man, and, and make it worth your while. Um, and then after the store opening at, at 5 p.m., we're gonna shoot across to the new. Anytime. And not even open yet. Brand spanking you anytime fitness in the same shopping center as Massive Joe's Gawler. We're gonna bust out a workout with the entire team Massive Joe's. Uh, Jake Nicolopoulos, Joe Pitt in the house, Ashley Colthai in the house. I already said that, Fabian's sister. That's right, you did. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. Oh yeah. Let's go. All right, I don't know any of these ones again. Well, you gotta be quick because we're already at, at 13 minutes. Yeah, this was supposed to be yeah, 10. Yeah. Minutes. You and me talk for shit. shit. We talk for shit off air for four minutes beforehand. Oh, that's true. So it's only eight minutes. Something so like we're that. rocking it. All right, let's go. Here we go. Uh, Senny Raj wants to know, 
Neve. Yes. What's your favorite exercise in the gym and your favorite body part to train? Exercise? Um, I like quick. Uh, I like dumbbell bench or barbell bench. Favorite body part to train? Shoulders. Really? Nice. I enjoy blowing I thought it was up. back. I enjoy blowing No, because I can't see my back, mate. Yeah, it's, well, mate, you try, <laughs> trust me, with the phone in the mirror. <laughs> I've seen it before. All right, Zach Johnson wants to know, Neve, I know you tell us straight, and I need to know, is Chris Beast Mode Jones, you know who it is, and the Swole Nerd coming to Australia next year for, for FitCon? Uh, what the f***? is FitCon? The FitCon, it's, it's actually the Arnold, Arnold Australia is it next fit, year. I think you, Zach, I think you're a bit confused, man. I think you're talking about FitX, which is next year going to be the Arnold no, Classic. FitCon's in what they just had it over somewhere in, in, overseas. But he's he's got to be talking about Australia. Well, he did say Australia. Yeah, so he's talking about the Arnold Classic Australia next year yeah. in March, which so, we will be exhibiting at once again. Are they coming, Need Yes or no? Uh, Beast Mode Jones is a yes. Oh, really? Oof. The Swole Nerd is uh, not sure. We're not 100%. But the, 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 you know who it is. Yeah. Next question. And hopefully you get Big J down as well. All right, next question is, yeah, Big J in the house. Hodge streams? We can't, really, we can't play all our cards right, right now, man. Yeah. We've got to keep people in suspense just a little bit. All right, who we got here? Grinchy mate, ask me. Two questions for both of you. This is both of us. Question one, would you guys say you had somewhat decent calf genetics before or in the early stages of lifting? Neve, yes or no? No. Me, yes. Did you really have to train them hard and constantly to get them where they are today? Yes. Yes. And, and mine are nowhere near anything at the moment either. And I've had to train the shit out of mine even though I did have decent calf genetics. Question two, how often do you guys progressively overload on calves and other muscle groups? Thanks. Every, every single session. Every single workout, we're going to failure, past failure, doing what we can Drop to sets, progressively pauses, overload. Uh, adding shit in, doing spotting, All kinds of negatives. Shit. Every workout, man, progressive overload. Yep. Uh, Matt Maseki, I think I pronounced that right. Follow your page religiously, guys. Thanks for all the good advice. Uh, I'm 20 years old, weigh around 80 kilos and gaining. I eat clean meal packs, brown rice, that's chicken, minced beef and green vegetables. That's gains right though. That's gains right though. And take plenty of sups. I really feel I should be taking vitamins as I get tired easy and have mood swings from time to time. Sounds like he's on a bit of that dead. <laughs> that, <laughs> that special that, supplement. That, test, that, that <laughs> testosterone. After some advice as to the most important vitamins to take, I take Metamucil for fiber. Is there anything else hugely important? So he wants to know what vitamins to take. Well, well fiber isn't a vitamin. No, it's not. But he's, he wants to know what vitamins to take. Take animal pack, mate. Hell no. Take machine greens, man. I was taking animal pack. And then I went to Machine Greens Plus Multi because the shit tastes good and have to sit there for 25 minutes taking 11 pills. Oh, I use both, mate. I, will, I personally recommend Machine Greens and I actually came from Animal Pack. All right, well, you say greens, I say pack. All right, take some sort of multi, man. Next question. Actually, last question. And this is a good one because he's addressed you as Nevi Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Nevi Wonder, I've been training for over a year now, but for some reason my left bicep is significantly smaller and less defined than my right bicep. Oh, a bit of that lone time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering what I should do to improve this, whether to add a left bicep workout into my <laughs> weekly routine or drop the right bicep altogether and some, just focus on left or something else to even them out. Some people I was wondering what your thoughts are. This is Jesse Atwood. Well, Jesse, some people call it the stranger using the opposite arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, man. What I'm saying is... This is um, a good question. No, but in all honesty, I think there could be something, um, some reason as to why the other one isn't growing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Give the kids no, some advice. No, no. no, so the reason why it couldn't be growing is you could be having like an overdeveloped right front delt and when you're doing... What arm is smaller? Left My left bicep is... I'm so, going to assume you're no, right-handed. Yeah, so I mean, you could be using your right, <laughs> your right hand when you pick it up. Using the right hand for extracurricular activities. <laughs> um, on your left, so on your left arm, you might be using your shoulder too much. You might not be getting that squeeze with it. <laughs> Just f***ing work it out, mate. Just uh, change it up. Oh, man. That's a good question. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we're going to take a time out. We're going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. So, Jesse, <clears throat> I reckon you. And you're... we're back. <laughs> Jesse, perhaps. Um, Jesse, all right. So this, this is the thing, man. It is gonna sort. It's gonna sort itself out. Don't be. Don't start doing. You see people sometimes if their left something is smaller than their right something, they'll go and train left of. There's know, a reason why it's not growing. Whatever, man. There's a reason why it's not growing. So yeah. So you could be using your left front delt too much, or you could be. Yeah, I don't know. You, you're not doing something right with you. you look, I'd be looking at other things rather than why your bicep isn't growing. There's a reason that maybe even other muscle is over. But generally, man, train train left and right exactly the same. And, and, and these sort of these and sort especially of things. something like don't use barbell. Like if you're doing biceps, don't use barbell or don't use your your handles. Use, use isolateral. Isolateral. So use your yeah. dumbbells for everything. So if you're doing preacher curl, if you normally do preacher curl on a machine, do like one arm at a time, dumbbell curls on the preacher, preacher incline and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff where you can isolate. Oh, and do right. like your incline one arm at a time. Just use dumbbells, mate, whenever you're doing your, uh, your uh, biceps. All right, next question, last question. Tom Mensinski. And Tom, my man, actually, told us, get some zoom and focus, how to pronounce his last name. If you're sending in your questions for Ask Neve and you got a f***ed up last name, man, do what Tom did and tell us how to pronounce it. Man. Yeah. So thank you, Tom, for being so kind. Tom Mensinski wants to know, Neve, do you recommend taking both whey protein and mass gainer together to gain lean muscle? Why or why not? Um, I, 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 myself, I do. I use a whey protein straight after my workout. Yeah. Um, along with dextrose, or at the moment I'm using carbol uh, carbolic by ProSubs. Yeah. So I'm using that post workout. Good shit. Uh, just to get the uh, the fast bro science, um, fast digestion of whey protein straight in. Yeah. During the day, it, when I'm uh, when I'm bulking and I'm using a mass gainer as more of a meal replacement or addition to a meal, I will use my mass gainer then because you don't need that rapid digestion of uh, protein. Cool. Pretty good answer. Yeah. That's it. What about Nick? the one about how I met you? How Joe met oh, you? Oh, I missed that one. All right, quick. We've got a lot of time for this oh, last no, one. Richard Where is it? Halabi. Richard Halabi. My question for Ask Neve, how did you and Joe meet? Well, I was running my own little supplement company here in Adelaide. I stalked him. And Joe was I obviously running you massive Joe's. From your own company. And what happened is we were both at a, uh, a gym's deadlift competition. We were. We were both sponsoring it because it was a gym I was attending and still do train at now. It was a gym we used then. to supply uh, and with supplements. And you were there as the main sponsor for the charity event. Yes, sir. And I was deadlifting. Yes, sir. I deadlifted and you fell in love with me. I did. I saw and, you pulled 260 uh, off the floor like it was, a, like it was a, a bar of feathers. That was when I was a little bit weaker. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then you started chatting to me and we kept in touch and then... I headhunted you from your own company. And uh, How dare management of your own company let you slide? I know. To Massive Joe's. And it's been a bromance ever since. Yeah. Hasn't it? It has been. That's it. The, I think that's all the time we've The two we got. best friends anyone could have. That's it. Neve, do you have anything else you want to add? Uh, before I tell the viewers? To hit the subscribe button? To hit the subscribe button! Oh. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Start today with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Get to the Massive Joe's Gawler store opening this Saturday, man. It's going to be epic. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Weekly Word, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive, Jesse.